What's up everybody, 905 Mang here. I'm gonna do a video today about an RODI system. This system is what I use to put in the purest water that I can in my reef tank. As you can see, the filters need a little bit of replacing. We're gonna go through all that in this video, but I wanna to explain to the any new viewers out there who are thinking about starting a reef tank the importance of this filter. With this filter, it's not like a freshwater system where you can throw in water conditioners in your regular tap water and your fish are gonna be okay. Um, the reason you need a RODI system is like I said, because you wanna pit in the purest possible water that you can in your reef tank. Now, when you're coming into salt water, you're gonna go ahead and spend some money. Um, it's not only just gonna be the tank, you're still gonna have to buy the stand. You gotta make sure your tank is drilled, but this is one of the most important steps and pieces of equipment that you're going to need because you're going to want zero TDS or zero total dissolved solids. And with this uh, RODI system, water pur purification system, it's going to have a meter on there and you're going to be able to, to uh, do that. Now, if this costs a lot of money up front, which it does, um, look out for these on uh, sale on the holidays. But... The reason I have one permanently installed in my garage is because uh, it's a matter of convenience. Now I could be going to the local fish store and pick up some pre-mixed salt water for me, which uh, you don't have to worry about RLDI and all that. But uh, like I said, it's for convenience for me. I have it at home. And can you imagine driving back and forth to the uh, water mill where you can get the water at or to your uh, local fish store? with uh, buckets. Uh, not everybody has a truck. Some people have, uh, you know, cars and all that. So I went ahead and I uh, picked up this RODI system and it's, uh, it's just a matter of convenience. Now back to the RODI. They do sell these RODIs at uh, Home Depot, Lowe's. You know, they sell them at all over the place. But I recommend you get them online or at your pet store, your uh, local fish store which we say LFS. And the reason why is because these are clear. Now the kind that you can get at the Home Depot and uh, Lowe's stores, they are not clear. Um, they're uh, solid plastic, so you can't really tell when uh, it's time to change out your filters. The first stage that I'm changing out, as you can see it's clear, is uh, the sediment filter. I use the bucket right here just to catch any water so I won't make a mess in my house. Uh, actually in my garage and you can see the rings of dirt that this filter has caught um, This catches all the floating particles and just refines the water making it as pure as it can go um, As you can see I repeated the process with several other filters. This is the DI uh, Deionization I got carbon right there uh, another DI and this one is color changing So it actually changes colors when it needs to be replaced now I get my replacement filters from uh, Bulk Resupply. The reason why it's just easier for me just to buy it all as a package and a little bit of a discount, not much, but um, I do change them out. I typically, typically change them out every six months or so or as needed um, because it has a TDS or total dissolved solids uh, meter where once that thing goes from zero on up, I go ahead and change it out because I don't want any problems with my reef tank. Um, once you start dumping regular tap water into your tank, um, you're gonna have problems later on down the road. It might not be immediately, um, but you will have problems. You're gonna have you know, algae growing on your rocks. It's just gonna be a mess and uh, you're setting yourself up for failure if you don't do your maintenance. This video is more not for the uh, experts out there, the other hobbyists who are been in reefing a lot longer than me. This video is more for the people interested in getting to, into salt water and you know want to know a little bit more than uh, advertisement just to sell the product. Now what I'm dumping out is called DI resin. I'm just dumping it out into a bucket. It comes out a mess. I'll rinse it out with regular water right now and then um, I'll go ahead and pack it with the DI resin. Now what the DI resin does, it makes your water super zero all the way down to zero because your RODI without it is still gonna come out with some TDS. Now this stuff says it's nuclear grade. 
But what I'm looking for is to make sure that this stuff is airtight. And what I use is a little razor. Open up the seal so I can, uh, I just cut the corners. So that way I can go ahead and uh, pour it into the container a lot easier than cutting it all the way across. This stuff usually does make a mess with it. It's, uh, as you can see, it's the color changing beads right there. The, as soon as they start, get spent, they start turning uh, yellow. I just fill this container up all the way, tap it into the container ease as much as possible. And then when you're done, you're going to want to tap it some more and then it'll, uh, it'll compress into the, uh, the uh, container, as you can see. You're going to use one pack per container. So just stuff it all the way you, as you can. Keep tapping it and just press down on it all the way until you can't get it anymore. The uh, tighter the seal that you have in there, the better results you're going to have getting that zero TDS. Changing out your filters is a pretty fast process. It's pretty straightforward. Just unscrew it, replace it, and tighten it, as you can see. And uh, all my filters are nice and clean. The uh, next part right here are the membranes. I need to change these out individually, um, but I haven't yet because they're about $30 each. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and do that next. This right here is the TDS meter. Um, it'll tell you your reading coming in. And it'll tell you the reading once it goes out through the uh, RODI system. This piece right here, the filter monitor, is pretty much worthless because I haven't even been using it. But the TDS meter is where you're, what is the most important part for you to pay attention to. Now the way I have mine hooked up is actually through a Y split connector. Um, it's brass and then it's the cold water side. Um, it's going feeds my washing machine and the other end actually feeds my RODI system. As you can see, I just flick a switch when I'm when I need to use it and make some RODI water. And when I'm done, I just flick the switch the other way and I totally shut it off. Another way that you can prolong your filter life is it comes with the flush valve. You just keep it like this to run all the dirty water out of it first. You monitor the TDS meter. And then when you're done, you go ahead and flick it the other way so that it gets fed to the membrane. Uh, it's a really good tool and it comes with your system if you get it from a uh, bulk reef supply. The next part is a sensor. Um, this is the sensor is actually connected to this TDS meter. Um, it's going to read the water coming in before it hits your DI resin. And then it's going to read the water coming out as it exits your DI resin. Um, and it's a good tool to use. And I most definitely recommend that you have it. But there it is. It's just a little sensor right there. It's going to tell you what your water quality is coming out of the filters. Some of you may need booster pumps. As long as you have 60 PSI, you're good. Um, it pretty much takes all day and uh, to make this water and it wastes about five gallons per one gallon of crystal clear water. Um, the way that I'm doing it is a brute trash can. Um, it's heavy duty and I have a float valve right there. Uh, when I'm done, it just shuts it off and then there you go. You're good to go and pit this water as to make uh, mixed salt water or just top off your auto top off reservoir to refill your tank. Well guys, thanks for watching. Hope this video helps. Take care.